In this video, we are diving deep into the world of Scratch customization, showing you everything you need to make your Scratch editor stand out. For customization, we need to use two tools, Scratch Adults and Scratch Tools. Both are free and available for download from the Chrome Web Store, links are in the description below. Once you install both, pin them for easy access and open the full settings by clicking on the little cogwheel icon. Now it's time to customize Scratch. The first customization area I will be covering is the Scratch Code Editor. So recently Scratch made a decision to switch from blue to purple. Most users, including myself, didn't like this change like at all. This is where our first setting comes in, revert to blue from Scratch Tools. As the name suggests, this setting changes everything that was switched to purple back to the original blue. Perfect. Next is one of the most requested features in Scratch, Dark Mode. Although both extensions offer a dark mode option, I personally recommend the Scratch Adult setting because it provides much more control and customization options. By enabling the dark mode setting, you can switch your theme to some default themes. You got like a turbo app, a default blue dark theme, or completely customize everything according to your preferences. The editor here gives you a live preview of how it would look and you can click on any area to highlight the setting corresponding to that area which is really cool. So you can change the color of any of these settings using any color code. So if you want to choose a color in some other program and want to paste it, yes, you can do that. Click on this little button to switch the color code. I personally like hex because it's much more easy and you can come with really nice combos using this. And you also have the option to completely remove those dots in the code area. Now for some rapid customization options. Auto hiding the block palette. If you ever feel annoyed by the block palette taking up space in your code area, you can enable this setting to auto hide the block palette. Customizable editor menu bar. With this setting enabled, you can change the look of your menu bar, hiding that useless tutorial button or display only icons or display only the text. It is really cool customization. Stage on left side. This setting allows you to set the stage on the left side just like it was in Scratch 2.0 and it's really nostalgic. Not gonna lie. Remove sprite watermark. This removes the watermark that displays in the code area when you select any sprite. I find it really useful but if you don't like it, you can customize that as well. Replace backpack bar with button. This setting converts your entire backpack into a button placed near the zoom button. It's really aesthetically pleasing without the whole backpack bar at the bottom and it's really cool. And that wraps up our editor section and next we are moving on to the customizing blocks in our editor. The first setting is changing the color of the blocks. With this enabled, you can switch, as the name says, the color of any category of block to a custom color. You also have some presets like the Scratch 2.0 block colors and some other presets which Scratch add-ons give you. You also have the option to change the color of the text such as white or if you like it, black. This setting also allows you to choose between different modes like the light, dark and high contrast mode. A lot of people still ask how I use these cute cap blocks. Well, they were originally created by Scratch for April's full day. But with this setting enabled, you can use them every day without any issue. This is surely one of the best features Scratch has ever released. Sometimes it really annoys me to keep track of Mr. Blocks, especially loops, like this is a mess. But with this setting enabled, it alternates the Mr. Blocks for easy identification, so you can choose the customization whether it should be light or dark. This is more of a useful hack than a customization feature, but nevertheless, it's really, really cool. With Scratch add-ons, you can also customize the shape of the blocks. You can adjust the padding, corners, and the notch height. And with this setting, you can really enhance the vibe of your customization. Block transparency. You can specify the transparency when you drag a block, and also for blocks without a half block, so you could identify them more differently, which is really handy. Finally, we are moving on to website customization. And this also would be a rapid section, as there are a lot of customization options out there. 2.0 to 3.0 changes everything that still has a 2.0 look to 3.0. I still have no idea why Scratch hasn't fixed this. Website dark mode. Yeah, dark mode. Rounded profile pictures makes all the profile pictures of the website round. Website font allows you to change the website font to any font available on Google Font. Just browse for the font you want, copy its name and paste it here. And voila. Fixed content boxes makes all sides of the box on the page rounded rather than just a dot. Why Scratch? Why Why should we do this? What's the logic behind this? Full project title. Yeah, it allows you to finally scroll and see the whole title. Again, why does not Scratch let us see the whole title? 
I have no idea. Check if trending. With this setting enabled, it adds a small indicator that shows if something is trending. Follower count on project. As the name says, this displays the follower count on project, normal clicking on profile and then seeing the follower count. Hide project tags. If you find tags annoying, just like me, you can completely hide them. Or if you want to see the tags, you can create a separate section for the tags using the display project tag setting. Minimize remix credit. If you feel that the remix credits take up too much space, just click this and you can minimize it. User hover card. Adds this nice card with the profile picture, username and the number of followers when you hover over profile it. Really cool. Finally, I have a small surprise. If you ever feel nostalgic and want to give the Scratch 2.0 experience, at least in the editor, fear not because I got you covered. And I'll show you exactly how and which setting to enable to get the look. First setting to enable is the 2.0 editor on Scratch Tools. This will set up the base to get our 2.0 look. It will switch the editor to the left side and make our blocks the 2.0 color. Next, we need to enable colored context menu and it will change the context menu when we right click on a block to the color of the same block just like in Scratch 2 by Row. And next is customizable block shape. We discussed this earlier. You got this 2.0 option. Enable that and you got 2.0 blocks. The next setting to enable is compact editor. So this would reduce the size of everything on the editor just like Scratch 2 by Row. The next setting is to enable is two column category monitor. You will split the block categories to two types. And finally, revert to blue because Scratch 2 by now didn't have bubble, so we can change it back to blue. And there we go. We got Scratch 2 by now on Scratch 3 by now. This is really nostalgic, not gonna lie. If you're watching this part of the video, I probably enjoy the content, so make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing. And if you want to watch more awesome content, I recommend checking this video out. See you in the next one.